Next, we will use pairwise comparisons to derive the relative priorities for the criteria. I'm going to take my goal of buying a car, and remember it's connected to all of these criteria down here. I'm going to right click it, and I'm going to go to Node Comparison Interface. And it's going to bring up this right here. So now, this should look pretty familiar. It should look a little bit like what we did when we did it by hand in Excel. So basically what I'm trying to find is aesthetic is how much more important than comfort, or comfort is how much more important than aesthetic. So say I definitely want comfort to be more important than aesthetic, but I'm not sure how much exactly. So I'm going to go through and I'm going to click over here on this side with the comfort, and I'm going to click 7. So here it says comfort is very strongly more important than aesthetic. If that sounds about right to me, then I'm just going to leave it where it is. And I'll go to the next one. Now I have cost and aesthetic. So which one do I think is more important? Well, I think cost is more important. And I kind of like the very strongly more important than up here, so I'm going to go ahead and click 7 again. And watch this bar on this side as you're doing it. It's changing each time, and we'll come back to that later. Okay, now I'm going to go to safety and aesthetic. Um, I like the 7, so we're going to go with that. Very strongly more important than aesthetic. Now, down here I have comfort and cost. So what do I want to do for that? Well, I think cost is still more important than comfort, but I don't think it's very strongly more important than. So, let me try 4. 4 is moderately to strongly more important than. That sounds about right to me, so we'll go with that. Now I have comfort and safety. I'm going to go ahead and say that comfort is more important to me than safety, and that I like that moderately to strongly more important than. So we'll go with the 4. And finally, I have cost and safety. Maybe I can't pick between cost and safety. Maybe they're, they're about even for me. So I'll go with 1. Now that I have this representation of priorities, there's a few different ways I can look at it. If you look, you see that this is the questionnaire tab, but there are some other ones too. If I click on graphical, I can see a bar chart and a pie chart of the comparisons. And I can do this for each one. So if I go back, I want to look at this one. So there's comfort and cost. I can also look at the verbal representations, which is what we talked about before with the moderately and strongly, all of that. It's also a matrix, which looks a little bit like what we made in Excel. And the direct comparison, which has those numbers that we would have calculated by hand if we did it in Excel. Now, if I look over to the right side here where it says inconsistency, I can see that I have a little bit of a problem. My inconsistency level is a little bit over 0.3, and that's way too high. It should be under 0.1 if I can. So, I need to find a way to get that inconsistency down. So I go to the Matrix tab, and there's actually a button for inconsistency. So I click that, and I can get the inconsistency report. And this basically just shows me what my most inconsistent comparisons are and what I can do to fix them. So I can see that my top two most inconsistent ones are comfort and cost, and comfort and safety. And it shows me the value that I picked, and what value I would have to change it to to get it the most consistent. But hang on a second. If I look at these comparisons, I see that it's trying to change this one from red to blue, and this one from blue to red. That means it's actually trying to change the direction of my comparisons and change what my priorities are. I don't really want to do that. I mean, I want it to be mathematically accurate, but I also want to be honest, too. So I need to find a way to get the inconsistency down while still keeping the priorities the way I want them. The best way for me to do this is to change my priorities a little bit, but not as much as they think I should. So I'll close out of this and go back to the questionnaire. So since comfort and cost and comfort and safety are the two that are a problem, maybe instead of a 4, I can pick something closer to the middle. How about a 2? And look at that, my inconsistency is down to 0 0.06948, which is under the 0.1 that it needs to be. So now I have a consistency level that will work.